The cryo array is a simple and easy way to produce multi-sample fresh tissue frozen arrays. The needle is a disposable 2mm derm needle. A stylet was created to assist in removing the tissue from the needle. A mold is used to form the base of the cryo array. Simply pour the OCT compound into the mold, taking care not to force air bubbles into it. Air bubbles will cause unwanted air pockets in the OCT array. Place the mold filled with OCT compound into a minus 30 degrees Celsius freezer or cryostat until the OCT compound is totally frozen. Once the OCT is solid, you can now pull it apart from the mold. So it can be cut in a cryostat, a metal chuck needs to be attached to the array mold. Tissues can be either frozen or fresh samples. Either way the derm needle will punch and insert the tissue into the array mold. For this demo I am using frozen liver tumor. You are now ready to insert tissues into the array. Keep tissue thickness to approximately one centimeter. Lift the stylet before punching. To insert, simply set the needle over the proper hole and push the stylet down. The tissue will fill the designated hole. If the sample is too tall for the array block, take a razor blade and trim off the excess. This will keep from contaminating other holes and your array surface will remain even. It's best to insert the tissue quickly. If you are too slow, the sample will freeze before it is pushed deep into the block and you will have only a half sample in that particular hole. Once the array block is complete, you will need to set the punches. To do this, take a room temperature copper plate or other metal plate and place the array mold on it. Remember not to tip the array over when doing this. The punches are loose and will fall out of their holes. The room temperature metal plate will cause the OCT to melt. This will take approximately 10 to 20 seconds. Melt until you see OCT around the edges of the array mold.
place the array and metal plate into a freezer or cryostat and allow the plate to freeze to the array. Once the two are frozen, you can carefully separate them. The ray will now have a flat surface and the punches will be set into the OCT mold. Trim some of the melted OCT away so the array block will clear the blade when cutting. Section the array block as you would any frozen tissue. During trimming, you may find it necessary to melt the array block again to set the punches. This is common practice, and you will have to melt and set the punches several times as you go deeper into the array block.